Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. Today is gonna to be really fun. We are talking non-toxic lipstick. And I'm really excited because I feel like what I have in front of me now is an amazing like group of products. And so what we're gonna kinda of do today is we're gonna go traditional lipstick, liquid lipstick and then just a nice sheer pop of color for someone who maybe does not want a lot of coverage but does want something that adds a little something to their face so i'm excited i feel like all of these products in front of me have a nice range of colors which is really great within their product line so if you're looking for anything particular i'm not going to just be talking about a red lipstick i'm going to be talking about the products their formulations their packaging everything so Let's just jump right in and kind of get started. The first traditional lipstick I want to talk about is by the brand Kosas. Um, and I've talked about this brand a good amount on my blog and on my channel now. And this is a great freaking lipstick. This is the color Undone. And I just want to show you a, one swatch of like one swipe of the coverage. So this is one swipe and this is the coverage. I mean, that is amazing. It is so pigmented and beautiful and it wears beautifully on the lips it doesn't slide around it stays put it lasts really long the packaging is beautiful so it kind of has this like magnetic closure to it which is really nice it is a really nice weighty lipstick it feels luxurious and the price is definitely up there but in my opinion it is definitely worth the price so if you have the money to spend or you want to spend that money on a lipstick this is amazing the the scent of the lipstick is very similar to the lip oil that they have so if you've smelled that or used that you know what it smells like it has that same sweet almost candy smell but it doesn't linger or last all day so if you're wearing it on your lips you're not smelling it all day it goes away pretty much immediately but it has a really nice smell to it which is really great so that is the kosas lipstick and i again love it so let's move on to a new brand or not a new brand but a different brand let's talk about the brand well people now this lipstick is great this is their semi matte lipstick and i'm a huge fan of it what's great about it is you can buy it at target now this brand you can buy at target that's great because they actually were just bought by elf i believe so they are now carried kind of where elf is carried now let's talk about this just product you push the top here and it pops out which is pretty fun i feel like the way that that is kind of made is really similar to products that you had kind of in the early 2000s which i mean who didn't love the early 2000s so i'm going to do again like i did with the kosas just do a swipe of coverage here so you can kind of see and this is in the color choose love it's very much a more light pink color and i really like the way that this product wears although it has kind of more matte in it it is not drying it is really beautiful it wears off really nicely and it lasts a really long time now the color range for this i will say is definitely a little bit more limited but they do have some beautiful colors and the finish is great so i would definitely check them out if you're at target take a look because you can kind of look at the packaging look at everything all right next let's talk about an amazing red but also an amazing color line i've talked about this brand before in my acne products video their concealer is amazing for using on acne marks um and just acne in general it's so beautiful and lightweight but that's besides the point this is by the brand clove and hollow and i love it so this is a red and oh my god like i mean i can't <laughs> it's beautiful so this is one swipe of the red and this is in the color damsel this is so good i mean the it's it's so freaking good and in terms of price just so we can kind of this is definitely the most expensive traditional lipstick then comes kind of this clove and hollow but they do have sales so you can get it on sale and then well people so that's kind of price wise where it kind of lies the clove and hollow i don't know what they did but this formulation is beautiful if you have actually ever used the nars lip pencils the formulation is 
exactly like that. It is so good, it is so creamy, it just glides on the lips. Like you barely have to touch your lips with it and the color glides on, it lasts so long. I love this, huge fan, and their color range is beautiful. You will definitely find something you love in that lipstick line, which is really, really nice. Okay, so let's now talk about liquid lipstick. So I have one I love and one I don't like at all. What I find with liquid lipstick is that in the non-toxic clean beauty world, it is hard to find something that's good. So I'm going to start with the one I don't like so that we can end on a high note when it comes to the liquid lipsticks. So this is by the brand Lawless, this lipstick here. I mean, I'm going to just swipe this for you on the back of my hand. Um, this is very much a more velvety finish. And when it goes on, you're like, this is gonna be great. I love it. The texture feels like it's gonna be fine. But the problem is when it dries down, whew, no moisture, literally Sahara. Like it's also thick. It's chalky, it's re like, you can feel it on your lips. And I, listen, I it's lipstick, so you're gonna probably be able to feel it, but this is so almost heavy and chalky like. I really don't like this. I don't think that if you like a traditional li liquid lipstick, which if you're going liquid lipstick, that's usually what you like, you'll like this. This has a very velvet finish, which also means it doesn't stay put, so you can, you know, you kind of feel like you're wearing a liquid lipstick, but you touch it and it stains pretty much immediately. So I'm gonna, I wipe my hand, I wanna show you. It stains so aggressively, like it's crazy. Now it's easy to remove the product once you kind of use some oil, but I really, I just, I don't think it's worth the money. I don't think that it wears nice. And I think that there's a lot of amazing other options out there. And I'm actually gonna talk about one of them today. So this product, now this is by Honest Beauty and I'm a huge fan of this liquid lipstick and I own actually a lot. I'm gonna do just like a swatch so that you can kind of see what it looks like. It has beautiful coverage. Now this is the color BFF. They have an incredible color range. It is not expensive, which is great because I mean, if you're gonna be spending money on a lipstick, you want it to be reasonably priced, but when it kind of comes to liquid lipsticks, I feel like when you're comparing the two, there's no comparison. This is freaking bomb. This is accessible at Target. The coverage is beautiful. The wear off is incredible and it doesn't suck moisture out of your lips. It's not super drying. It doesn't stain your lips super aggressive, but it lasts really, really long. So I always kind of wear um, a lip, chapstick or something underneath my liquid lipsticks just because I mean they're drying right they are definitely more matte they you know sit on your lips all day so I'll go with something like this this is by the brand Primera this is also a clean option this is a lip max I freaking love this stuff I'll go with that underneath and then wear my liquid lipsticks but this almost doesn't need it but I do it anyways, just because why not? I wanna make sure my lips are hydrated because when your lips kind of start to flake, it's not really a good look, but this is beautiful. Huge fan, amazing color range. And the smell is very just traditional lipstick. There's nothing, no crazy intense smell, which I also really like. So that's actually really it in terms of lipsticks traditional lipstick with liquid lipsticks. Now we're gonna talk about a product I've actually already talked about on my channel, but I wanna highlight it again. This is another Honest Beauty product, and this is just their tinted lip balm. It's beautiful, it does an incredible wash of color, it hydrates your lips all day, and it's not like you're not wearing anything. Like you're definitely wearing product. It has a beautiful shade range, so if let's say you wanted to do a really intense red like this, but you wanted something that was it so full coverage? They have a beautiful red in the range. This is their punch color. Yeah, this is in their color fruit punch, but they have 
Sorry about that. They have a beautiful red color. They have beautiful, you know, berry colors. It's definitely worth checking out. And even if you are a lipstick person, but you do like to wear something that's more like a Dior lip glow sometimes throughout the day in the summertime, definitely check this out. It's beautiful. The wear is beautiful. It doesn't stain your lips weird. I'm a huge fan. So yeah, that's it for this video. That is it for my kind of non-toxic lipstick breakdown. I am so happy with the products that I have found. You know, there are kind of five amazing lipsticks here and lip options here, but of course one dud. I did want to talk about that just to make sure if you were curious and kind of shopping around for lips, liquid lipsticks, which are kind of a more challenging thing to find in the non-toxic lipstick world, that you're not going for something that is not is gonna disappoint. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, thumbs it up if you liked it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.